Hello, friends. A warm welcome once again to our YouTube channel. Need exam update with Guruji, English. If you're watching our video for the first time or are new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe so that every important neat update and major news reaches you first. Now let's begin today's special video without any delay. This year, NEAT UG 2025 has brought one of the biggest surprises for all medical aspirants. The All India Quota Cutoff, which used to stay very high in previous years, is expected to drop drastically. In the past, students needed 550-600 marks for a government MBBS seat, but this time even students scoring 250-300 marks are finding themselves in a position to secure admission. The reason is simple, the number of MBBS seats has increased, several new medical colleges have opened, and MCC has clarified that no seats will remain vacant this year. For general category students, the cutoff may still hover around 350-400 in some regions, but for SC, ST, OBC categories, the golden opportunity lies in the fact that relaxation is huge and seats are available even at lower scores. Rural students and children of farmers, who once thought becoming a doctor was out of reach, now have a real chance. Many private colleges are also offering seats under government quota fees, which further increases opportunities. MCC has clearly advised candidates not to skip counseling because the cutoff will keep falling in round two and round three. This is the reason why thousands of low-score students should not lose hope the dream of wearing the white coat is still alive. When we talk about state quota counseling, the chances for low-score students become even brighter. Every state reserves 85% of its MBBS seats for local students, and this is where cutoffs go much lower compared to all India quota. For example, if in AIQ the closing score is 350, the same seat in state quota may close at 280-300. This is a blessing for rural students and those from small towns. States like Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Bihar, Jharkhand, and Odisha have several lesser-known colleges where cutoffs are. Not high, but the quality of education is good. State counseling usually runs through multiple rounds. In Madhya Pradesh, even after three to four rounds, cutoffs continue to drop, giving opportunities to students who missed out earlier. Rural background students and those from government schools enjoy additional reservations, meaning they can secure admission at even lower marks. This makes it very important to participate in state counseling with proper documents, domicile, caste, EWS certificates, etc. A student who ignores this process loses a once-in-a-lifetime chance. That's why it's always advised to apply in both MCC and state counseling. Now the most important concern for students scoring 250, 350 marks. Which colleges can they get? Let's take a closer look. In Madhya Pradesh, colleges like Shivpuri, Ratlam, Chindwara, Satna, and Vidisha are known for low cutoffs. In Odisha, Koraput, Balangir, and Baripada are considered good opportunities for low scorers. Jharkhand has Hazaribagh, Dumka, and Palamu Medical Colleges where cutoffs are often low. In Bihar, Nalanda and Purnea Colleges also fall in this range. Moving to the northeast, Silchar Medical College in Assam, Agartala in Tripura, and Shillong in Meghalaya are some colleges where cutoffs drop significantly. On the private side, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, and Maharashtra stand out. These states allow government quota seats in private medical colleges at very low fees sometimes only 1 to 1.5 lakh per year compared to the usual 10 to 15 lakh. For SCST students, this becomes even cheaper. The message here is clear. Never think that 250-300 marks mean no chance. You must fill choices widely and participate in every round because many such colleges are waiting for you. Cut-off knowledge is incomplete without understanding the counseling process. Both MCC and state counseling are separate and students must register for both to maximize their chances. The process includes registration, payment, and most importantly, choice filling. This is where many students make mistakes by filling only a few colleges. The correct strategy is to fill as many colleges as possible to increase the probability of allotment. Documents are the backbone of the counseling process. Adar card, NEAT scorecard, admit card, 10th and 12th mark. Sheets, domicile, cast, and EWS certificates must all be kept ready. Students from rural areas should pay extra attention to caste and domicile certificates because these are often the deciding factors for seat allotment. Another major mistake is that students participate only in round one, and if they don't get a seat, they stop. But MCC has confirmed that round two, round three, 
and mop-up rounds will see the cutoff drop further. This means leaving the process midway is like shutting the door to your dream. One of the biggest reasons behind the dropping cutoff this year is the massive increase in MBBS seats. Last year, India had around 1 lakh MBBS seats. But in 2025, thanks to the establishment of many new government colleges, this number is going up to 1.1-1.15 lakh. Madhya Pradesh alone has added more than 600 seats, while Maharashtra, Rajasthan, and Uttar Pradesh have also added new colleges. Every new college means lower competition per seat and hence lower cutoffs. Private colleges have also been instructed to release seats under government quota with reduced fees. The National Medical Commission, NMC and MCC, have confirmed that these additional seats will be reflected in this year's counseling. This is excellent news for all categories of students, because more seats mean higher chances of selection and less pressure of high cutoffs. Now let's discuss in detail the full list of colleges across states where cutoffs are traditionally low. In Madhya Pradesh, Shivpuri, Ratlam, Chindwara, Satna, and Vidisha Medical Colleges. In Odisha, Koraput, Balangir, and Baripada. In Jharkhand, Hazaribag, Dumka, and Palamu Medical Colleges. In Bihar, Purnea and Nalanda. In the Northeast, Silchar, Assam, Agartala, Tripura, and Shillong, Meghalaya. Maharashtra has Gandia and Chandrapur, which also fall under low cutoff colleges. Karnataka's Raichur, Bidar, and Kapal are also options for low scorers. Now, students ask, which one to choose? The clear advice is always give preference to government medical colleges, no matter the state or location. A government MBBS degree carries lifelong value, lower fees, and better internship opportunities. Private colleges should only be chosen if you miss a government seat and your family's financial background is strong enough. Cutoff and colleges are only one part of the story. Students also need to understand the financial and career side of MBBS education. In government colleges, fees are very low ranging from as 10,000 to 1 lakh per year. In private colleges, it shoots up to 10 to 20 lakh per year, while deemed universities can cost or 25 to 30 lakh annually. For a rural student or a farmer's son, such fees are almost impossible to afford, which is why government seats are the best option. Now let's talk about bond policies. Many states have rules where, after completing MBBS, students must serve in government hospitals for one to two years. Madhya Pradesh has a one-year bond, while Uttar Pradesh and Rajasthan also follow similar policies. This ensures doctors are available in rural hospitals, and students also secure jobs immediately after MBBS. During internships, students receive stipends ranging from 12,000 to Rs 25,000 per month, depending on the state. For example, in MP and Chhattisgarh, it's around Rs 15,000, in Rajasthan and Maharashtra around 20,000, and in Delhi or AIIMs, it can go up to Raward 25,000. This stipend helps rural families because the student can support themselves financially. Therefore, while filling choices, don't just look at cutoff. Check the fees, bond, and stipend structure, because these decide your future path. For rural students especially, this is a double benefit a degree, a job, and financial support. Thank you so much for watching till the end. We bring the most reliable, neat updates, fast and first. Don't forget to like, share, and comment your feedback below. See you in the next update. Take care.